Hi, and thanks for watching my tutorial for making star trail photos and time lapse videos by creating a Photoshop action. Before I get into the explanation, I want to point out that I've already made and saved the Photoshop actions and have a download link right here on my website. Uh, however, I'd still recommend watching the beginning of the tutorial so you don't miss uh, one particularly important step. I'm going to begin with this, so in case you're not interested in how the, how the uh, actions are made, you can just download them, use them, it's really simple. Uh, and then afterward I'll explain how to make your own, how to go into uh, detail about how to adjust the trails. So let's take a look at the original photos. So here we go, not much to it. Uh, let's see, can you find the North Star here? Uh, if you're like me, you're going to look for the Little Dipper, but let's try this. There we go. And so this is what we're looking at. We're going from a bunch of pictures of stars, and so for this I think I have about 180 uh, pictures I made, and I'll show you the video at the end, as well as a few other videos that I've made using this, so you can see what works for you, what doesn't. And we're going to be stacking the images through Photoshop. I'm using CS3, although I've, had, I've been told this action that I made also works on the newest CS5 version. Uh, I just use the older one because I can't find a reason to upgrade. Alright, so anyway, got an email last week from Marco in Slovenia who said, I was wondering if it would be possible to make longer trails. I have over 200 images and after some time the trails start disappearing. Makes me wonder how it would look if I had over a thousand images without any trails erasing. And the answer is yes, and thank you for writing. So the difference is going to be this This has disappearing trails. Uh, they're set at 95%. Now if we keep it at 100%, it's going to look like this. And that's about 180 images of stars twirling in the night sky. Yours are going to look a lot better than this, probably. These are old photos. I'm in San Francisco during the rainy season. I couldn't get out and take new fo star photos. So yours will look better. Um, however, this will give you an idea, and again, I'll show you some more videos at the end uh, so you can see what it looks like. So this original idea came from JC Megabyte on YouTube, and I'll put a link below, and I just want to say thanks for the action, or thanks for the idea. So let's start. You're on the website. We have a big friendly button. Yeah, that's my button. Uh, click it one time. We're going to go to Mediafire. Click and download. And that's it. And I've already installed it on my computer or downloaded it, so let's pull up Photoshop. I'm going to have the Actions window open. So that's a little play button here. And then there's a little button right here. And it's going to bring down this menu, and we're going to go to Load Actions and I'm going to find wherever I put my action so in this case it's going to be time-lapse blog and you can see it's not here and there we go so I have two I have the original short trails and then I have the newer long trails action so let's see this how this works the first thing we're going to do and this is the important part I don't want you to miss is we're going to open up the first image here and let me go back for one second and just point this out when I'm working, I'm not working from the original files, I'm working for, uh, from a copy. And that's because I'm going to be overwriting, overwriting these photos. And so I don't want to overwrite my only existing copy, so I always work for, from a copy when I do these actions. So anyway, I'm going to open up the first one, and I'm going to select all. So for shortcuts, you're going to do Control a Control c Control w Select all, copy, and close but we'll do it manually here. So we're going to say select all and we're going to go to copy and then we can close the image. And you can see I use the shortcuts a lot. Um, and so what that's going to do is that's going to store the very first image in memory so it has something to work with. And this is important because the first command for these is going to be paste. And if you don't have anything stored, obviously it can't paste. It's going to not let you do anything. So now that we have that first one saved, we can close it 
and we're just going to go to automate and then batch and I'm going to select time-lapse blog and then the action I want for this one I'm going to do short just because I prefer it uh, long is fine too if that's what you want to do for the input I'm going to make sure I have the stars copy folder and the output the stars copy folder and this is the copy I'm going to be overriding and then okay and there the action goes so we'll let this go for just a minute and then take a look and see what these look like alright and all our photos are done processing depending on the speed of your computer this can take a few minutes or much much longer this is a newer computer so it was pretty fast although I did skip ahead so you didn't have to sit through it now we have the output here and these are the original files and I went through them a little bit earlier but I just want to point out the numbering it's going to be three digit numbering I find this works pretty well Photoshop's fairly forgiving but the uh, the tip I use usually for virtual dub is to select all and then cl uh, right click and then do rename and I don't suggest that for Photoshop because the one two three four five six seven eight nine ten it doesn't like it it goes from one to ten to eleven and it's it's a mess it'll it'll it just won't work and so what I used was uh, bridge I understand it's an old program but I didn't uh, the key was I'm looking for a three digit even four digit number at the end just to keep them all in order uh, you'll have to find another program if your if your files aren't in a similar order so here's the output and let's take a quick look so the first is going to look the same and the second is going to be the first and second combined third first second and third combined and so on although I did put in the fade here so you're going to see that it isn't just a solid line. Alright, so now let's see how you can do that if you want to make your own and how to adjust this. So now that we've seen how to use the existing action, I'm going to show you how to make it and it is laughably simple but there are about a hundred little stupid things that can trip you up along the way so I will take my time and try to show you how to do this. So the first thing we're going to do, uh, just as we did before, is I'm going to open and I've gone back and replaced all my uh, copies that were overridden with fresh files so we can do this again. I'm going to select the first one, control A for all, the little marching ants along the outside so we know we did that right, control C to copy, control W to close. Now we can begin the action. I'm going to go down to this little button and if I stay here for a second it should say create new action. There we go. And we'll just call this uh, time lapse stars short and then record. And we're going to go And actually, before I start this, I'm going to stop for one second, and I'm going to open up. And this isn't completely necessary, but I'm going to open this up because when I automate it, it's going to have this open for me, and I'm going to have to worry about this uh, because this is an open command. I don't want to even have it in my in my action. So I'm going to open this up beforehand. I'm going to let the automate open up my files for me. I don't want to have this doing it. All right, so I have this open. I'm going to go back to record and I haven't done any commands on this yet. So the first command, as you'll probably remember, is paste. So let's do that here. And now we have uh, layer, layer one, and then the background layer. So layer one, and this is the whole of the action. This is the, the bulk of it right here. I'm going to go to this tab and change from normal to lighten. And ta-da, that's about it. Opacity, this, is, this goes to Marco's question if we keep this at 100% the trails aren't going to fade at all it's going to be just light streaks across the sky sometimes it's okay I prefer to have the shorter trails and I put this at 95% to get those shorter trails it's not a huge difference but it's it's how I like it so now that we have these two layers 
I'm going to go up to layer and then flatten image and that's it and then I'm going to go to save this and I'm just going to do control s save this is a very simple one we don't want to mess with this so I'm just okay and then at the very end because we're going to be pasting at the very beginning we have to copy at the very end so I'm going to do control a control c and then control w and stop and that's it so now that we have it we have to of course test it and so I'm going to be testing it on my copy images so I'm going to go to automate batch tutorial actions so we know we have the right one selected here copy copy and OK and there we go and I can see it seems to be working we'll double check in a second I'm going to let this run and I can open open this up and we'll see something's going on I don't want to actually open up the files right now because if I open one that Photoshop needs to use it's going to shut down the process and so I'm just going to let this run for a second and we'll check back in a minute alright so we're done now and I'm at the stars copy folder so let's take a look and it worked there you go so as we move along we'll see that it gives us that short trails that I was looking for so perfect so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I'm going to be posting a few this is the first one that I've done online yet uh, video tutorial. If you use it, I would love it if you want to put a link to your video in the comments below, either if you're watching on YouTube or on my blog. Um, if you do use the action and would like to link back to it, that's great. Don't have to, but I, I always appreciate that. And if you have any questions, of course, leave me a comment, uh, send me an email, contact me through the website's uh, contact form, and I'll do my best to answer. Alright, thanks for watching.